what if we were to put a PTZ camera in center field? Sometimes you get one of those ideas in your mind and you just can't get it out of there. Today was one of those days on the heels of our 2024 baseball streaming setup. I couldn't help but think, what would it be like to put a PTZ camera in center field? And I think the most reasonable response there would be to document it for you so you could make a decision. Tell me what you think. By the time you get through watching this video, do you think a PTZ cam would work on the fields that you play on? Not to limit myself to that one shot of down across second base pitcher's mound batter's box, but have a camera out there that I could have presets on and be able to pull several different shots from center field not only that pitcher batter exchange but also have a shot of first base also have a shot maybe even of the dugout the ability to have presets from center field might be one of those things that could really level up our live stream i know we've already done our setup video for 2024 but my mind just won't sit still and Having a PTZ camera in center field might be a great thing. That might not. There's two reasons why we shouldn't do it. One, because it's all the way out there. And two, because you can't just power a PTZ camera with a power bank. You gotta have something you can plug in. In order to get this one powered, I used my Power Bank Elite. It's an old one. I don't think Amazon even sells it anymore. I can't find it there anyway. It is a 25,600 milliamp hour battery, but it has an inverter on it. So there is a three prong outlet and there are three USB outlets. The three prong will produce 90 watts. The USB outlets will do 2.1, 2.1 and 1.0 output. So this one battery was able to power my PTZ camera out there, but also power the repeater travel router that's out there and give me power for both. I have tested that and it will go 10 plus hours powering both of those from this. Here I am at uh, just outside of home plate, got my Obsbot tail air on me here. Got a couple of presets that we can look at with the Obsbot in the Mevo Multicam app. Now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and show you that picture catcher shot. Uh, if, if I were to go on to a different preset, it would show you the third base shot because I'm set up over here on the third base side. And then I've got one that's just kind of across the infield if we wanted to do that picture to first base shot as well. If I switch over though to what I have in center field, and go into my image adjustments there. Let me give the disclaimer here. This is a proof of concept. This was not because I have really good equipment to make this work. The PTZ camera that I have is this Avcans NDI HX20 times zoom. It does have NDI, so I was able to ethernet from here to that travel router in repeater mode. It hated the sun. It was afternoon sun and the lens was looking directly into the sun. You can see the lens flare in the clips that I'm showing you here, but it didn't operate well as far as picture quality, but I didn't really have time to work with the focus or to work with the picture quality because practice was about to start and I needed to get out of the way. If you find videos like this to be valuable to you, would you mind smashing that like button? It's the best way for YouTube to let me know you like these and I should keep making them. One is a shot of over the shoulder to the pitcher batter experience. Here I am at home plate, pitcher's mound in front of me. With the wind, there's gonna be some camera shake today, but that's all right. Pulling another preset that might show me over here at first base. If I were to have the four presets that the Mevo Multicam software gives me, I could from center field catch some of the view that's happening here on the infield. Now that's a 20X PTZ camera, has NDI. I have my two routers. The one in outfield is in repeater mode and I am recording all of this together on my Mevo Multicam software. Coach, how are you today? I'm pretty sure for the size of our baseball field, a 30 times zoom is going to serve me much better. This one would be perfect for night games, for a smaller field, 
uh, softball field or a, a younger team field, it would be great for those. It's not going to like to fight the sun, and the distance is really pushing it a little too far. Also, it was a windy day, so that outfield fence that we have, it's old, it's a little bit rickety. It's metal, so I could attach to it with just the magnets that I've figured out here on this mount, but it gives a lot of shake in the wind out there, and so my my picture quality isn't what I'm trying to show you here. What I'm trying to show you here is that you can actually have presets from out there and maybe get some really good shots from a camera mounted in center field. Slate AXT travel router at the dugout. Slate AXT travel router in repeater mode at the center field fence where this camera is. And I have no issues uh, anywhere that I've posted up to do this. I mean, I was there at home plate. I was there at first base. I was over there at third base and at the dugout. And at no time did I have any kind of warnings come across my multicam software. At no time did I, I have any kind of uh, degradation of, uh, of signal image. Then it really didn't like the sunlight. 